so sorry, baby girl. Come here. Come on. I need to hold you. It's okay. It's okay. I act so insensitive. I should have trusted you to tell me what was going on in your own time. I don't want to be sneaking around in distrust. I want us to be open and honest is all. Huh. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. And thank you for listening to me. So, does this mean that I'm forgiven? And I can tempt you with a slice of apple pie from the party? <laughs> well, if that's all it takes, I'm going to be baking a lot of pies. <laughs> I'll grab them from the truck. Unless you feel like coming back to the party for the rest of the night? No? Okay. A quiet night with you sounds just about perfect. I can get that log fire going for us. Oh, baby girl. No, no. You don't have to do that. In your own time, that's what I meant. Please don't feel like you have to talk about anything you don't want to. I don't want you to feel pressured or... No, oh, there's no need to apologize. I'm here to listen. Whatever feels right for you. Right now, I'm just grateful we're together. Even if I do drive you nuts. <laughs> this isn't how I wanted the first I love you to be. I thought it would be a little more romantic than this. Well, I had planned on taking you down to the lake after the party. Even had a little late night picnic set up in the truck. <laughs> I figured I could take you down there, enjoy the quiet, listen to the leaves falling from the trees, talk about our hopes and dreams. I was going to tell you how amazing you are. You'd have told me how I'm the most handsome, sexy, charming. <laughs> okay, okay. But something along those lines, right? <laughs> well, we still have all night. I still have the food and the wine. What do you say we grab those blankets and cuddle up in front of the fire? Cheers, baby girl. Here's to our first fight. <laughs> You're right. This is much better. I love a good old town BBQ, but it's been damn cold on. And I'd rather spend tonight cuddling in front of a roaring fire with you 
in my arms, all cozy and warm. Me too, baby girl. Thank you for hearing me out tonight. I'm glad we talked things through. Love is hard, huh? <laughs> it ain't all sunshine and birds singing like the songs on the radio. Who'd have thought? I've never felt like this before, you know? I think that's why this whole thing scared me so much. Well, sure, I dated a few people, but it was nothing like what we have. With you, it's different. I feel like I can tell you anything. I only hope that one day I can do that for you. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry I pushed you. I want you to open up in your own time. The reason for you starting a fresh life here is not for me to decide how and when you share that. We're together, and that's perfect for me right now. You know, I remember you saying when you first came to town how imperfect you thought you were. Even on first meeting, I knew that wasn't true. You've always been perfect to me. You always will be. This feels so nice. I could just sleep here all night. We could wake up early, go on a hike through the forest tomorrow morning, pick up a hot cocoa from that little bakery just on the edge of town. <laughs> yes, and some caramel cinnamon buns. Whatever you want, sweetheart. I love you too. There's nothing better in this world than hearing you say that. <laughs> you had my heart the second you walked into my store. Call it crazy, but I... <laughs> I never believed in love at first sight until then. <laughs> Then I'll say it a thousand times over. <laughs>